How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? And welcome back to the Dark Nova channel with some more Fortress Craft Evolve. And as you can see in my hotbar today, I have got a lot of titanium, gold, and nickel. Well, mostly nickel and gold because I placed a ton of hoppers around in the ore extractors that were extracting gold, nickel and titanium and I handpicked them because we are in desperate need of more freaking tier 2 ores just to get the tier 2 ores automated. So our first aim today is to make some pipes and I was looking around the storage blocks or storage there are mass storage blocks now and I have crafted a ton of tin plates so first we will try and craft some transport pipes but guess what these need hardened machine blocks and crystal deposits <laughs> so we oh my god it's 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 raining cats and dogs out there <laughs> I'm pretty sure it will flood around my house the next day but that doesn't stop me from playing games and we need crystal deposits but I don't think we need a smelter for the crystal deposits so we will go straight down and get some crystal hardened block assembler that needs gold that needs titanium that needs nickel and this is the assembler but we can also handcraft the hardened machine blocks which needs two titanium and two nickel but look at that and if in efficient way of making these blocks automation can be more efficient than manually crafting hint hint so that means we most definitely need a hardened block okay. assembler just to not waste so much resources because I think handcrafting them will take more resources and let's place it somewhere around in actually it might just need power so in here <laughs> all right yep it needs power current PBS desires 15 power per second that is great no valid attached hoppers all right I have fuck ton of hoppers one will be remove only and one will be add only so what do you need one nickel bar and one titanium bar so look at that that is exactly half the amount of bars we need than to handcraft it so we have a ton of nickel but we kinda don't have titanium there we go nickel and titanium and this thing will produce us um, hardened blocks I guess hardened blocks yep it is producing a lot of hardened blocks I think 30 hardened blocks because we have 30 nickel I, I mean 30 titanium so we will go down and get the titanium and to to be honest before doing that I have unlocked the basic drill motor well that was unlocked earlier but enhanced drill motor 400% speed magnetic drill motor 800% speed look at that they still don't need any of the tier 2 ores and fusion drill motor still only at lithium bar and it's it's surprising I have lower lithium than gold and nickel so we will be increasing the speed of some drills I guess or extractors so enhanced drill motor that needs basic drill motor and iron copper tin so we will be crafting a few of those magnetic still need iron copper and tin so we'll be crafting a lot of those and the fusion drill motor 1600% at the cost of increased power but I do not think I need fusion ones maybe we need for the lithium one maybe maybe we do maybe uh, uh, no I did craft them alright but I'm thinking that we absolutely are wasting ore so after fitting the fusion drill motors will most definitely be fitting steel cutter heads on them and it needs low grade steel bar eh, I don't have steel bars yet so let's go down and fit the ore extractors 
with some mortars, right? And I think we won't be needing... Holy hell, those PSBs are loud. I don't think we'll be needing two of them and we will upgrade this to a fusion drill motor. Look at how fast it is. 128 or per minute. Alright, that is a fusion drill motor. It is ridiculous. 128 or per minute. And I think it's producing 16 or per cycle. 16, yep. It is producing 16 or per cycle. Let's have a look at it. 21, yep, 16 ores per cycle, 128 freaking ores. <laughs> that is most definitely going to saturate our production, and we most definitely need a motorized conveyor belt just to keep up with the speeds because the conveyor belts do not work that fast when they are extracting ores from a freaking storage hopper and this this game is sometimes too loud we do not need three ex or extractors anymore so we can probably cut down on this and hey why why are you there let's revamp this a little there we go and tin is automated as well look at that the, it is the, the <laughs> it is producing more than what three or extractors could produce and I'm a fucking stupid I just block the power supply <laughs> all right all right all right there we go that will work there power supply not blocked holy hell is it using too much power I do not think so we'll delete that because that's almost depleted yep it is barely getting saturated but it still is getting saturated so tin is done now it's time for the lithium the lowest ore we have for right now and you, you can get a fusion drill motor as well give me them lithium ores please there we go <laughs> already 35 of the ores and we have a threat level of 145 because we're not really using much power and threat level is most definitely dependent on the power and we can go down and not kill ourselves to get some nickel, gold and titanium that is 0 0.01 <laughs> really that is crystal as well <laughs> 2000 so that is good for us right now because we do not want to waste much crystal and let's place a storage hopper there and power this thing up there we go almost filled up all right eight or per minute crystal deposits is lightning out there Jesus I'm I'm seriously scared what is drill stuck what drill stuck fusion drill mortar no, the mortar does not help. It is stuck. I think it needs the steel cutter heads. Jesus, crystal is too, too hard, I would say. Alright. I I just realized I'm gonna feed the high mine. I'm gonna feed the high mine. I'm gonna feed the high mine. No, nope, 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 nope. Please don't feed the high mine. Please, for the love of God. Oh my God. Oh my God. High mine is fed. I'm pretty sure high mine is fed. Oh. Bye. God, please. Oh my. Yep, yep, yep. It fed the high mind. Fed the high mind. Fuck. I forgot about a torrent in here. Fuck, 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 fuck. I think the high mind might have just grown. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We need. We... Fuck this. Fuck this. Oh my god. So much titanium ore. Fail. Inventor. Really? My inventory is full now. Why do I have that, that shit there? Alright, alright, what can we throw? And yeah, I made a freaking BFL 9000, but then I realized it's for horizontal digging and not vertical digging. And I was so fucking disappointed. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm scared now. The high man uh, must have grown like at least a hundred hours. Or maybe more. Holy fuck. 
We gotta take the high mind. <laughs> Stupid things that I do! Jesus, why are you discharged? <laughs> this power grid is not efficient at all. I think it shot something. Alright, where is the hive mine? I think the hive mine must be somewhere around there. Beholder. Oh, look at that. The hive mine has grown. These tentacles were definitely not there. These tentacles, these fucking tentacles were definitely not there. Holy fucking shit, and even built... Oh my god, it grew tentacles! I'm done fucked up! Alright, we'll see how much it has grown. Holy hell, it has grown a lot. Oh my god! <laughs> I need a bomb or something to blow it up. This is too dangerous. I almost fed it too much, but uh, it, it is good that I noticed in time that it was getting fed. Look at that. <laughs> it has grown. No. At least it, it wasn't disastrous. It just grew a little. <laughs> I most definitely need to upgrade to those pipes instead of conveyor belts because they are very risky. <laughs> I fed the high mine, holy shit, why? <laughs> steel cutter heads, but to make steel, we need steel and there is a steel alloy smelter mm -hmm. which we will be getting right now. So where are you Mr. Steel Alloy Smelter? There you are. Steel Alloy Smelter and I think you you will need power as well. So macerator. This is powered but that thing is not powered. Alright. I, I, the power transfer rate is not that great. And Arthur you, you have discharged as well. Smelter, smelter, macerator, you can go. Smelter, you can come in handy. Yeah, I knew he would use desires 50 point per second. Are you fucking kidding me? Holy fuck, no valid hoppers attached. Alright, we will attach some hoppers to you. One will be remove only, one will be add only. What do you need? Iron and nickel bar, so we'll do another one. Well, will we remove only? So, nickel can go in there, and iron, which we have a fuck ton of, can go in there. And you can produce me some low grade steel bar. How do we produce the high grades though? Holy fucking shit! <laughs> We need we need more power infrastructure. All right. We what does the power grid cost? Advanced power grids. That's gonna take 50 simplified, 50 basic, and we can just manually add the titanium for the ultimate experimental pod. So, but before that, I think I will get rid of that one and research those crude organic lens. You can go back in there. And titanium horse, you can go back smelting. There we go, titanium. <laughs> There's so much stuff. There's too much stuff that I haven't automated yet. And I'm paying for it. Alright. Analyze, we will go into analyze mode. We will slap a hopper there. We'll do it remove only. We'll get those research parts and analyze those research parts. Research parts. Alright. Analyzing, it is analyzing and even on analyzing you use so much fucking power. Are you serious? <laughs> Look at the power usage. Steel cutter head. Really? There's a stack in my inventory. Bad. That is bad. Alright, we'll equip you with a steel cutter head so you can give give me more coil. Coil? No! Coal! You can give me more coal per ore and look at that. That steel cutter 
actually does look pretty amazing and it has a durability as well so eh. we will need to automate the steel cutter at some point anyway and fusion drill motor get rid of the coal please <laughs> yeah all right guys moment of truth get out of my way screen <laughs> Standard cutter head. There we go. Crystal deposits and fusion drill motor. Just for the speed. There we go. 16 crystal already. That is good. Look at the sparks flying. <laughs> the crystal cutter head is gonna lose so much durability on this one. Damn hiccups. And we have a lot of crystal now but uh, while coming down here I noticed another thing is after fitting the fusion drill motors our 10 PPS power supply just is not enough half of the PSBs are running out of power the PSBs down there are powered just because there is a large buffer in here and we don't want that to run out of power so what I will be doing is revamping the complete power system because for now we do not have the mark 2 mark 3 power transmitters but we most definitely need more power as well and we ha I have a lot of steel cutter heads in me I have absolutely no idea why Hey, that is cool. It works exactly like a conveyor belt. Just faster, I, I would suppose. Yeah, it, it is faster and cooler. So we'll be using a lot of transport pipes. And they do not freeze. Oh, my inventory is full. Jeez, steel cutter heads. You can go there. So what we'll do is one two three four and Jesus four and five all right actually four is good enough because I, I noticed a thing suppose the P PSB's transfer between each other is horrible suppose I fill it up with 200 power and place another PSB there look at that they do not instantly transfer and they oscillate between each other and get to an equilibrium where they both share equal amounts of power if I place a third one it will again get shared so three of them has equal amounts of power so it is a very inconvenient way of transferring power it literally oscillates between the PSBs and wastes power which is bad we need a lot of power and central power hub is not cutting it <laughs> right one two three four yeah four it is and one two ran out of transmitters great alright transmitters where might you guys be hundred of those I mean fifty of those <laughs> wonder how good my maths is 25 plus 25 equals 100 that's how good my maths is <laughs> all right we will be doing that 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 and that that looks cool <laughs> and we need a transfer in here so what we will do is that should be coming yep that is coming come on come on come on no don't drop off please thank you and we will be transferring power from in here to there which will be good enough now for the iron we will be doing the same just ends there just ends there wow <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
just ends there. So what we can do is three PCBs because PCBs are cheaper. And they act as a nice buffer. Maybe not, maybe not. What we'll do is that. And we will attach a power transmitter here. Get that PSB. No, why? I, I meant to attach PSB. There we go. That one can go. And another power transmitter can go there. Yes, it can. And we can have a torrent there as well. That is good. We will cut the main line out of the turret line so it doesn't have to work so hard. Fill this up manually because we don't want my noxes. And we will do is place PSBs here. Which is good. A lot of PSBs but that is just a ghetto setup for now. 20 PPS power which is good enough. Why are you here? I think it's there for the excavators that I used. That is good. It is generating power which is good and I will fill these up manually a little bit as well. And the torrent line is there. These torrent, come on. These torrent cannot get out of power. Please don't do that to me. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I am back from the depths with 1.1k titanium ore and 700 nickel ore and they are currently being smelted in here and I do not think, you know, they're not passing the titanium ore. God damn it. <laughs> and it is time that we finally end the episode but before that we have a lot of work to do as well I might just have called the outro too fast because we still have the new where's the storage god damn it I always try to make it dramatic but I can't <laughs> We have the mass storage blocks and we have basic mass storage input port and basic mass storage output port. We need servo motor and copper wire for that. And we need Mark 1 power booster and copper wire. Seriously, why do we need a fucking power booster? We can make the lightweight housing and we can make the servo motors. And then we can create the basic storage in output server motor one more please I just make 25 I don't care <laughs> basic storage output so now what we can do is god completely full inventory the storage output actually no <laughs> I still need that hard bar the storage output storage blocks can go there the storage input where are you input come on seriously the storage input can go there and the output can go there so let's check how this works we need an input part that will work we need a storage block what that's a plate not a block mass storage stack height what is solo storage connect more crates total storage I think I will do is do a conveyor belt because I can see the conveyor belt inside this input port and we can do is store some copper bars into that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it stopped what oh that robot <laughs> went from this place and stored it up there. Okay. Total storage. 25? Seriously. One is 25. That is a waste of space. But the... We have so much space in there. But I think E stack height. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Really? Stack height 1. Stack height 2 is 50. Stack height 3 will be 75, 4, 5 and think 
6 is the max so we can do is stack height 6 but can we oh oh it, it, it it's going up for some reason so that is the stack height all right we can place another plate up here and will that connect the stack height is currently 1 we did another plate there will that stack but if I do stack height 6 I think I can place more plates above it hello place a copper bar please I think it takes a lot of copper bars at once and goes there and stores it because it, it, it is kind of slow now it's not working Eh, really I should read what is written in there mass storage, mass storage facility placed on a horizontal plane okay so I think it connects like this yes it does so we can make as large a mass storage as we can and we can increase the stack height to six that will be oh it now connects so look at that after I've connected it the mass storage actually says 150 increases increases still increases that is good that is good that can work as an automated buffer for us and if we destroy the mass storage it drops the content which is good and I think that will be the end of this episode guys hope you guys enjoyed watching this video seriously I messed up that outro didn't I <laughs> and I will wrap it up for today's episode guys hope you guys enjoyed watching this video in the next episode I will most definitely start with doing a buffer in the middle of the conveyor belt that is currently carrying the smelted bars and I think I will cut this line here bring it down here and make some mass storage in here then place the output port on the mass storage and that can literally go back into there so it will kinda act like a buffer in the middle so that thing never runs out of ores and uh, can we can we actually can we place two output ports in a mass storage if that is indeed possible what we can do is also place a mass storage here and do another output here and make some storage hoppers for us to pick the bars on but that is a subject for the next episode and i will be ending this episode here hope you guys enjoyed watching this video like this video if you liked it dislike this video if you didn't like it and i'll be seeing you guys in the next episode my inventory is literally full can't pick up anything any fucking thing now I can pick up <laughs> that is good and what research should we do now that is that is next